Here are a few amazing animal facts for you. Giraffe have excellent eyesight and they can spot predators like hyenas or lions from far away. <laughs> Pretty handy, right? And when rhinos feel threatened, their instinct is not to run away, but to run directly at whatever has scared them. Can you imagine? Let's go meet these magnificent plant eaters here at the Blank Park Zoo. Hi, my name is Ann and I'm from the Blank Park Zoo and with me I have my very special friends, the Eastern Black Rhinos. This is Ayana and her baby Kamara. Did you know that Kamara just turned one in this past April? These guys are called Eastern Black Rhinos because they roll in dark soil and dark mud that gives them kind of that black look. It, has, it doesn't have anything to do with their skin color. It has to do with the soil that they roll and they, they wallow in. And they're a little bit different than a white rhino because the soil color is a little bit different in the region where the white rhinos live. Something else that you'll really notice about them, which is cool, if you look at their top lip, if you look at Ayana's top lip, it's pointed and that's called a prehensile lip. And that lets her grab leaves and branches and fruit in the wild and eat it. And she's called a browser because she goes after those branches and those leaves. A white rhino, their top lip would be flat because they're grazers and they like to eat grass. So that's one of the ways that you can tell the difference between a white rhino and a black rhino. Other cool things about them, look at their size. Ayana is about 2,500 pounds. That is the size of a car. And her baby, her baby right now at one year old is just under a thousand pounds. And at birth, she weighed a hundred pounds, which is the size of an elementary student. Look at her horns. See how they're nice and big? Those horns are made of keratin and it's a fibrous material and it helps protect them. So when a rhino gets startled in the wild, the first thing they'll do is they charge and then they'll investigate later. So that's how they get their reputation. They're actually quite docile animals by nature, but, when, but just don't startle them because that's when they will start to charge. The other cool thing you can notice about is their ears. See how their ears are moving back and forth? That's listening for any kind of danger or predators. So their ears will rotate all around, just like satellite dishes, catching up sound all around them to see what's going on. And the mom, Ayana, she's very aware of everything going on so that she can protect her baby, Kamara. Look at their feet. You see how they have, looks like almost toes on their feet? And when they walk, those toes, the, the pads flatten out in the ground and that helps them from sinking into the ground when they are walking. And of course, they have little tails too. And if you look at their tails, just like on a horse, they'll use their tail to swat away bugs and flies. Did you know that rhinos are very intelligent animals? And at the zoo, we can actually train them um, to do different behaviors to help in their animal welfare and their care. They also make little sounds. So the babies, when they're young, and if they get nervous or if they get scared, they'll make a little call calling for their mom. And then mom is on high alert, knows that they need to go over and protect their young. Now you might be wondering, how much does the zoo feed these animals every single day? So we feed them about 50 pounds of food a day. So if you think about that, that is like 200 cheeseburgers. So 50 pounds of food. Now of course rhinos don't eat cheeseburgers. They prefer leaves and branches and we feed them special pellets made just for rhinos and then lots of vegetables um, and, and hay or different kinds of grasses. Something else that's really cool about them is they can live to be between 45 and 50 years old. So Ayana right here, the mom, she's only gonna be 10 this year. So she hopefully has a long life ahead of her and the little baby just turned one. They have a long time to live with us and be with us at the zoo. Rhinos in the wild are endangered. They're being hunted over and over again for their horns. 
The horns really do not have a lot of value. Some people think they uh, can be used for medicine. Some people like to make um, like handles for um, daggers out of them as a, as a sign of wealth. But really, they do not, they don't have any medicinal value to them at all. And we want to make sure that these rhinos are protected. So at Blank Park Zoo, we work with the International Rhino Foundation, and we help protect those animals in the wild so they can build up their populations. And right now, our baby rhino, every rhino counts because a baby is only born every two to three years. So the mom could be pregnant for 15 months, which is over a year. So they do not have babies very often. So that's why we have to really protect them. And uh, the Blank Park Zoo helps by doing that by having these guys over here.